Hello and welcome everybody to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we've got the Brewers again today. This is our next to last uh, home game for the regular season. And actually, I think this is the lineup we won. I think Minix and Mishlak were both in last game, so I think I just need to change the pitcher to Polly. We'll let Zap maybe pitch the last game of the year. So I think that's that's all we need right now. Get the standings pulled up here. <clears throat> Another beautiful day at Panpaka Park. Take a look at the standings. The Braves now have a four-game lead in the NL East. Gives them a magic number of four. The Squirrels have locked down the NL Central, which I just realized I didn't actually put on this chart. I'll have to go back and edit that. The Dodgers holding a one-game lead over the Rockies in the NL West. Magic number of seven. Rockies currently slated to be the wild card team. Uh, the Red Sox have locked up the AL East. In the AL Central, the Tigers have regained a one-game lead over the White Sox. It gives them a magic number of seven. White Sox are slated to be the wild card team in the American League. And in the AL West, the Astros just clinched that division. So only the NL West and AL Central are up for grabs at this point as we near the very end of the season. Ryan Braun starts off this game with a strikeout looking. Ronnie Cedeno at the plate. He'll take strike one. Grounds this one towards first. Terry picks it up and steps on the bag. Two down. Aramis Ramirez at the plate. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch. Pops this one up. Tom is under it. And he makes the play. Kester will lead things off for the Squirrels in the bottom half of the inning. Take a look at the Brewers lineup. And we have the same... Oh, I forgot to look to see if... Van Hecken was hurt or just benched. But anyway, Chris Capuano is on the mound. I did see him pitch live in St. Louis once. And the Brewers won that game. It was the first time I'd been to a major league game and the home team lost. Been to a few of those since then, but that was the first one. Kester opens up the Squirrels half with a base hit. Brings Marvin to the plate, sitting right at 250, and he comes through with a base hit through the right side of the infield. Two runners on base, nobody out. Chief at the plate. Yeah, pitch down and out. That pitch too low, two and zero. Oh the count. Squirrels looking to strike early here. The chief swings and misses at that pitch to make it two and one. This one too low, three and one. The count. And that's going to be a walk. Base is loaded, nobody out. Terry at the plate. First pitch called a strike. Grounds this one too short. Hall goes to third with it, and that is the only out the Brewers will get. Squirrels take the one to nothing lead. Leaves runners on first and second with only one out, and Frank at the plate takes strike one. Lines this one into right field. This might get ugly early. One run in to score. Frank oh, gets thrown out at second, trying to stretch that into a double. So two to nothing, Squirrels lead, but now there are two outs. Runner on third and Tom at the plate. He takes a pitch outside. Takes a pitch low. Swing and a miss makes it two and one. Smacks this one up the middle, and it will get through for a base hit, and another Squirrels run comes in. So it makes it three to nothing, Squirrels. 
Runner still on first. Zach at the plate. Take strike one. Zach, he goes up the middle for another base hit. Tom is going to stay put at second base. So runners on first and second. Joey at the plate. Squirrels have nearly batted around. He swings and misses at the first pitch. This one down and in. And that, oh, does not get through for a base hit. So Daniel able to glove that one for the last out. Squirrels send eight batters to the plate, score three runs on a five hits. And there was also a walk in there. Prince Fielder now at the plate for the Brewers to open up the second inning, and he takes strike one. And that knuckleball in the dirt. And that one in the dirt as well, two and one. Pops this one into center field. It's well placed, though, and that's going to be the Brewers' first hit of the day. Runner on first. Nobody out. Bill Hall at the plate. And Fielder takes off. Tom very casually throws down to second and throws Fielder out, and Prince Fielder hurts himself on the slide. We'll see if he stays in the game when uh, the Brewers take the field. So now base is empty, one out, a one and one count at the plate. This one catches the outside, one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down now, Jason Kendall at the plate. This is fouled away. This one also fouled away, just down the third base line, 0-2. Called strike three, that'll end the top of the second. Go to the bottom of the second, Squirrels leading 3 to nothing, and Polly is going to lead things off. And looks like Prince Fielder is going to stay in. Holly takes a ball. Hits this one to second. Sedania will make the play. Back around to the top of the order. Not a single strikeout. That one doesn't bend. It's just straight. One and one. The count on Kester. Who did get a hit in his first at bat. Swings and misses there to makes it one and two. Stays alive. This one down and out. Two and two. Ooh. Looked high to me, but Capuano gets the call. Strikeout looking for Kester. Brings Marvin to the plate. He got a hit in his first at bat, was eventually thrown out at third on a ground ball. Where apparently Bill Hall didn't feel like he could get Kester at home, and he was probably right. Marvin with a 1-2 and two count at the moment, and he's going to put this into right field for another base hit. Say Marvin, as badly as he started off the year, has been pretty hot lately. He, uh, he could be a postseason star here if we're not careful. Chief at the plate drew a walk in his first at bat. Marvin takes off for second, and he makes it there. So that'll put a runner into scoring position. Two outs. Chief with an 0-2 count. Lays off that one, and it is called a ball. This one too low. 2-2 two and two the count now. Oh, looks at strike three right down Meridian. So still a 3 to nothing Squirrels lead. Go into the third inning. Gabe Kapler is going to lead things off for the Brewers. Brewers do have a hit, but it caught stealing. Still has them batting in order here. First pitch is too far inside. Second pitch called a strike. Mm 
Another called strike makes it one and two. Called strike three. That'll bring Tony Gwynn Jr. to the plate. Looks at strike one. And that one is up and out. Two and one the count now. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Grounds this one to Terry, who ends up tagging Gwen out. Capuano at the plate. Looks at strike one. Ground ball to Joey, who picks it up, throws it over, and that'll end the third inning. Still a 3 to nothing Squirrels lead as we go to the bottom half of the third. Terry set to lead off. First pitch called strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss, strike three. Frank at the plate, got a hit in his first at bat. Looks at a ball. Looks at another ball. Looks like he was taking that one all the way. Two and one. Puts this one into center field, but Tony Gwynn has a play on that one. Two down, Tom at the plate. Got a hit in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Puts this one into right. Kepler has it, and that will end the third inning. Still three to nothing squirrels. Ryan Braun will come back up for the Brewers in the fourth. Four strikeouts for Polly, the first time through the Brewers' order, and Ryan Braun was one of them. Grounds this one to second. Kester handles it. Cedeno at the plate, ground out in his first at bat. Pops this one back to Polly, who makes the play. Aramis Ramirez fouled out. Takes a strike here. Takes another strike. And fouls this one away. Still 0 and 2. Puts this into center field and it will get down for a base hit. Two out single for Ramirez brings Prince Fielder to the plate. He got a hit in his last at bat but then was caught stealing. Pops this one right behind home plate. Tom grabs it and that'll end the top of the fourth. Three to nothing squirrels. Zach is going to lead things off in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Zach got a hit in his first at bat. Take strike one. This one inside. Gets a hold of this one, but to the deepest part of the field. Braun not able to catch up with it. Almost bounces into the lucky pocket. Zach will settle for a leadoff double. Probably would have been a home run in a lot of parks, but not this one. Oh man, that was really close to Bouncing into the pocket there. Joey at the plate now. Runner on second. Nobody out. Grounds the first pitch. Foul. Take strike two. Looks at strike three. One down. Polly at the plate. Showing bunt. And but bunt does stay fair. Capuano fields it and tags Polly out, but it does move Zach to third. Two outs for Kester. He is one for two today. Struck out in his last at bat. Has a one and one count at the moment. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That ends the fourth inning. Squirrels with another chance to score, but they come up empty. Move into the fifth inning. Squirrels are leading three to nothing. Bill Hall is going to lead off for Milwaukee. 
Bill Hall struck out in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Puts this one behind second base. Kester goes back and he makes the grab. Jason Kendall struck out in his first at bat. I guess I should note that with uh, Ramos Ramirez hit at last inning, the Brewers are finally out of order batting. Jason Kendall with an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Gabe Kapler at the plate. Struck out in his first at bat. And he looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Halfway through the game, Squirrels leading 3-0. Marvin due to lead off for the Squirrels. Marvin, 2-for-2 two two today, has that average up to 253. Take strike one. This ball is up and in. Down and out. Two and one. Make it three and one. Oh, called strike on a not very good pitch. Full count. Marvin swings and misses. He's retired for the first time today. Chief 0 for 1. He has walked and struck out. Take strike one. Hits this one to Bill Hall, who picks it up and throws it over. Two down. Terry, 0 for 2 on the day. Looks at a strike. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Still three to nothing as we go into the sixth inning. Tony Gwynn Jr. due up for the Brewers. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch called a strike. This one put weakly towards third. Chief is able to grab it in the air. One down, Capuano at the plate. You have to, uh, have to say Capuano has pitched well after the first inning. Had a rough start, but he's kept a scoreless since. Has a one and one count at the plate. Swings and misses to make this one and two. Pops this one into the air. Tom is under it. Two down. Ryan Braun 0 for 2 today. Fouls the first pitch away. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll end the top of the sixth. Still a three to nothing squirrels lead, and Frank will be leading off the bottom half of the inning. Frank at the plate will take a ball outside. Swing and miss to make it one and one. Puts this one into right field. Kapler goes over, but he's not going to get there. A base hit, leadoff single for Frank here in the sixth. Tom is one for two on the day. Takes strike one. Takes a ball. This one gets away, doesn't roll away far, but it's far enough for Frank to take second. Two and one the count, a runner now in scoring position. Tom comes up empty on that swing to make it two and two. Hits this one right to Cedeno, though he jumps up and it goes off of his glove. Uh, they're going to rule that a hit, which uh, I guess he had to jump. So runners on the corners, nobody out. Zach at the plate, takes a ball. Zach doubled in his last at bat. This one's going to hook foul. 
One and one. Swing and a miss makes it one and two as Capuano starts to get tired. And Zach retired for the first time today on a strikeout. One down now, runners on the corners. Joey at the plate. Swings and misses at the first pitch. That pitch outside. Called strike two. This one in the dirt. Two and two the count. Inside. Full count. Only one out, though. Runners will stay put. Ground ball to third. Frank goes back. And almost a double play, but not quite. Capuano's going to come out of the game. Moda's going to come in to pitch. Runners still on the corners. Two outs now. Squirrels have not scored a run yet in this inning. Polly is not going to be the one to hit. Let's, uh, we haven't seen Quentin in a little bit. Let's throw him out there. Make sure he doesn't get too rusty before the playoffs. See if we can really put the Brewers away here. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two on an iffy call. Looks at strike three, so that strategy didn't pay off. So still three to nothing as we go into the seventh. Ronnie Cedeno is going to lead off for the Brewers. And we're going to put in Nakai when it pops up here. All right, Cedeno 0 for 2 today. And he grounds this one to second. Kester will throw it over. One out. Ramirez, 1 for 2. He's fouled out and singled. Swings and misses at the first pitch. And Polly, or Nakai rather, doesn't get the call. Fly ball into left. I don't think... Frank's quite going to get there. Does drop in front of him and then almost bounces over his head. And that's enough to get Ramirez into second base. One out double brings Prince Fielder to the plate. As he swings and misses at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch. Hits this one into right center. Kester ends up making the play. Ramirez thought it was going to be a hit. Is Already rounding third, so that's going to be a double play to get us into the stretch. Squirrels up, 3-0. Zero, Indianapolis, three. We've got Kester at the plate. He's one for three so far today. Struck out in his last two at-bats. Gets a hit in this one, though. Puts it right about where Fielder did, but more on a line. Marvin at the plate. He's two for three. Now batting left-handed. Takes a strike. Kester takes off. Is in there easily. Marvin swung and missed at the pitch. But a runner in scoring position with nobody out. 0-2 the count at the plate and bounces that one in. That one out of the zone as well. 2-2. Two and two. Marvin swings, hits that one to second. Cedeno gets the out at first, but it does move Kester into third. Chief at the plate now. Has not gotten a hit today. I'd... He's walked, struck out, and ground out to short, I believe. Grounds this one towards short, but it gets through for a base hit. There's the fourth run of the game. To finally put this out of a save situation. 
Terry at the plate takes strike one. This one inside. That one up and out. Two and one the count. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Called strike three. Frank at the plate. He is two for three today. Two down, runner on first. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses to make it 0 and 2. Puts this one into deep center. Gwynn going back, and he is able to make the play. Squirrels do get a run to make it 4 to nothing. Bill Hall is going to lead off for the Brewers. We'll go ahead and leave Nakai out there. Bill Hall 0 for 2 today. Takes a ball low. There, takes a strike. Puts this one into left center. Nobody's going to catch that one. We'll just see how many bases Hall's able to get. He's going for third, and it looks like he will make it even with Joey's arm. Lead off triple for Bill Hall. Brewers may not be going down quite as quietly as hoped. That's going to bring Jason Kendall to the plate. Runner on third, nobody out. First pitch called strike on a fastball. A line to short, Joey makes the play. Hall has to stay put. Kapler comes to the plate. He swings and misses at a changeup. Puts a curveball towards second. Kester able to make the play. Bill Hall still stuck at third. Tony Gwynn Jr. at the plate with two outs. Called strike. Pops this one up at the plate. Tom makes the grab. The squirrels get out of a little bit of a jam. Still four to nothing. Tom is going to lead things off for Indianapolis in the bottom half of the inning. Tom, two for three today. Watches a wild fastball. And grounds this one to third. Ramirez throws over. One down. That'll bring Zach to the plate. He is two for three. Single, double, and strikeout. Takes a ball. Takes a strike. Looked like the same pitch to me. That fastball too high. Two to one. Grounds this one foul. Two and two. Called strike three. Two down. Joey hitless today. Looks at a strike. Smacks this one towards Cedeno, who makes the grab, and that'll end the eighth inning. Pitcher spot due up for the Brewers. They need four runs to stay alive. For right now, the Brewers will turn to Ricky Weeks. Kind of starting to wonder if maybe Van Hecken got traded. So we'll... Actually, let's hold Zap back if we're going to start him in a couple days here. Go to McNichol instead. Remember, McNichol did not have a good outing his last time out, so here's a good chance for some redemption for him. And the Brewers decide not to send Ricky Weeks up. Instead, they turn to Nitro, who is probably a better option anyway. More power. Swings and misses at a curveball. Looks at a curveball for a strike. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good start there for McNichol. Ryan Braun has struck out twice today. And a ground out in between. Looks at ball one. That's going to be a base hit over Kester's head. One out single will bring Ronnie Cedeno to the plate. He is hitless today. That fastball too far inside. 
swing and a miss makes it one and one. This uh, hit towards, oh, that's going to be a double play. Ryan Braun drifted too far off of first. Joey grabbed that one in the air, and Braun not able to get back. Your final score today, Milwaukee Brewers 0, Indianapolis Squirrels 4. Take a look at a few highlights. I'm sure most will be from the first inning. And Polly, your player of the game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. Otherwise, we have our final home game of the regular season tomorrow against Milwaukee. We will see you then.